really glad Connor, you know, took the time to read my letter and was taking me on as a student. Gotta be honest with you though, I'm a little nervous. I haven't had a lesson in a while. Last lesson I had was uh, to renew my driver's license, and I guess that doesn't even count as we're talking about golf. I got uh, Marshall Butters coming out in about an hour. I got a letter from him not too long ago uh, telling me that he's been slicing the ball. And uh, I think by the end of today, he'll have a really good idea how to curve the ball the way he wants. Hey, Mr. Butters, how you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. And I want to I want to thank you for responding to my letter. I'm really excited about being here. Yeah, you have wonderful cursive. <laughs> Years of practice. So I read in your letter that you were having a really big issue slicing the ball to the right. Yeah, that's right, Connor. And I got to thank you for answering my letter. And a little bit of history. Yeah. I'm a big Tim Galway fan, the inner golf. Big field guy. Yeah, experienced a lot of success, but uh, my ball, my shot making, constantly to the right. What I'm here for today is the ability, the chance to maybe put a little draw on the ball. You want to draw the ball? <laughs> Absolutely. Easy. I'll tell you what I'm working on, Connor. I'm to get that, to get that draw. Taking the club back, driving that right elbow. But most importantly, well, I want to get that spin on the ball. To roll that club over, just like they do on TV. Yeah. Well, that's what I read anyway. A lot, a lot of thoughts. <laughs> a lot of thoughts. Well, I used to string them all together, and it works, right? You used to be a field player, though. Yeah, you're right. I used to be a field player. So if you want to draw the ball, is it the club face that draws the ball or the shape of your swing, your, your swing path? Yeah, I'm, I'm skunked. I'm not sure. If you want to learn how to draw the golf ball, what you need to understand is what the club face does and what the shape of your swing do. So the club face will always start the golf ball, and the golf ball can only go three ways. It can either go straight, you can either hit it off to the left, or you can hit it off to the right. Now, in order for you to hit a draw, the golf ball has to spend the most amount of time to the right of this line on the ground. So this is, like if we were in a blimp, this is what a draw would look like. Okay? So the ball starts out to the right, because the club face looks like this, and then it spins back to the target. Con, aren't you gonna tell me why I'm slicing? Well, you already sliced anyway. We we're not concerned about that anymore. We're trying to get you drawn the ball. So if that's your target, let's start it out to the right and spin it back there. So what you're saying is, club face to the right, ball starts to the right, and the shape of my swing will create the draw. When I think of it that way, it looks exactly like my strike ball when I'm bowling. Connor, I gotta tell you, I love it. If you want to hit a draw that starts to the right of your target, the club face starts it. So the club face has to look like this when you hit it. Okay? That will make the ball start to the right, and the shape of your swing will create spin to bring it back to the target. So the goal this week is to get balls to start to the right, and spin back to the target. You pick up a couple driveway sticks like these we have in front, set them up like this, start it to the right, spin it back. This is a draw with a club face that points to the right. How'd it go? Uh, excellent. You know, with Marshall Butters now understanding that the golf ball can spin and you don't have to hit it straight, it's really gonna free him up and uh, I think he's going to start loving the game again, man, just like the way he did when he was a kid. Pretty simple. Open up that club face, hit it to the right, who would have thunk it? And it works. So good night, good night. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing you so good